Hi everyone, today we're here to talk about selecting a cover crop. Sometimes that can seem like somewhat of an overwhelming task. This is a good example of the choices that you have. I'm standing here at the demonstration plots at the Kellogg Biological Station where we have 36 different species that we're looking at and evaluating for their use in Michigan cover crop systems. So if I had to title this talk, it would be Think Like a Plant. Every plant has its own life cycle, and it will go through that life cycle no matter when it's planted. You need to consider this when you are selecting a cover crop because you may not be planting that cover crop during its ideal growing season. It will still go through its normal life cycle. So for example, if you have a summer annual type cover crop, these are cover crops that will grow in uh, the summer the best, uh, they do not tolerate cold temperatures well, and their whole goal is to reproduce during the summer period. An example of that here is buckwheat right next to me. You can see that this has grown really rapidly during the summer. It has already gone to seed and the frost has already affected it here in October, even though we've only had um, some uh, light frost so far. Right behind that is oats, it's a summer annual grass. Um, same thing, it likes to get up, it likes to get growing fairly quick, puts on pretty good uh, biomass during the, the summer months, and you can see where this has already gone to seed, but notice that this is still green. It is more frost tolerant than something, say, like buckwheat, so you will get more growth further into the fall months with oats than you will with some of the other summer annuals. Next to me here is uh, sorghum sedan grass cross. That's uh, Sudex, again, another summer annual. It grows rapidly, puts on a lot of biomass, but then uh, as it starts getting cold, you can see this has already got some frost damage. And then the last one I'd like to talk about is, is right in front of me, I'm standing in the plots. This is winter cereal rye. Winter cereal rye needs to vernalize to reproduce, and the plant knows that. So it will put on decent growth in the fall, but it knows it's got a lot of its lifespan left. So it has to get through the winter, therefore it does not winter kill, and it will um, start growing again in the spring and put on substantial biomass in the spring. So you might be asking, where can I get this type of information about cover crops? So we have a number of resources to tell you about, and there'll be links to where to get these resources at the end of the video. The first one is managing cover crops profitably. This is a national publication on cover crops and has a lot of the information like I just talked about, about each cover crop. A second resource is the Midwest Cover Crop Council Field Guide. This is geared towards Midwestern cover crops and can give you the life cycles and a lot of other information about cover crops.